Obama has said he's done more than any other president to fight climate change. But there's still not many signs of that in coal country. I'm standing in the biggest coal mine in the world. This is North Antelope Rochelle. It's owned and operated by Peabody Energy. And more coal comes out of this one mine in Wyoming than anywhere else in the world. We've been granted rare access to have a look at this mine and see where America's coal comes from. Out of the North Antelope Rochelle mine, about 12% of America's coal comes from here. From this out of, one mine. From this one mine. Out of the, the entire Powder River Basin, about 40% of America's coal comes out of, out of here. Right now, coal has two big problems, competition from cheap natural gas and a carbon-constrained world. Barack Obama has said he'll fight climate change, and that means getting America off coal. Internally, on that carbon report, does, that, uh, does the company account for the carbon that it produces? Does it have to? Not sure. Does uh, the company have a position on climate change or on what's the the party the party line? What's the company line? I mean, we've got yeah. Just stop the stop the tape. Just one ton of this coal produces 3,700 pounds of carbon dioxide emissions, and there are billions of tons here in the Powder River Basin. Burn it all, and that's a lot of climate change. We have uh, what's called a carbon budget, which is the amount of carbon that can be uh, used in coal, oil, and gas combustion. Coal is in the biggest excess because coal is geologically very plentiful, so plentiful that if we burned all the coal uh, that uh, is known and that can be found and that can be uh, mined economically, we'd completely wreck uh, this world. So a lot of the coal is going to have to stay under the ground. Climate change is a main black mark against coal from the environmental point of view, but local people have concerns about its effects on air and water quality too. Peabody Coal and the other coal companies are wanting to uh, keep on mining and mine this country out and just leave it as a sacrifice. And uh, they want to do it for their bottom line. My family came here close to a hundred years ago in 1918. I think I'm too stubborn to pick up and leave, so I'm probably going to stay. So what's it like, you know, for someone who doesn't know anything about coal, what's it like to live next to, you know, the biggest coal mine in the world? Uh, they're not always very good neighbors. We had a lot of death loss from uh, calves that uh, there would be enough uh, dust and pollution in the air that we'd lose quite a few each year. Do I think climate change exists? No, I don't think it's, I don't think it's ever happened. Not truly. So yeah. does coal produce the greenhouse gases that are climate change, which is what the EPA says? There are types of emissions that, that come from that, but it's not. It's, does it add to climate change? Not any more than the trees that grow in the forest and the cows out in the pasture and the carbon monoxide that we put out as human beings. Climate change is uh, scientifically proven and it's uh, already uh, through the door, not just at the door. Uh, the reason for this warming is humanity and we need to control the greenhouse gases that are driving the warming. Now, Peabody told us off camera that they are making preparations to open up another huge tract of land for coal mining. That's all public land, which means it's owned by the American people. And Peabody reckons it contains another billion tons of coal. Coal's, coal's here to stay. It's not going anywhere. We're, we're currently about 40% of the, of the power generation in the country. Developing nations are, are using more and more coal. So, you know, all of that, as economies grow, coal continues to, to get used. We have to make choices. We have to be clear that we need a dramatic uh, transition to a low-carbon energy system. And we need a deep 
decarbonization philosophy to carry us forward. Recently, I've, I've just been uh, debaptized, so I have the actual certificate oh, really? to show that I've been debaptized. How do you get debaptized? Well, uh, dry you excessively. <laughs> <laughs>